Welcome everyone back to a Mango video. I'm playing after a nice uh, little 4 1 with Izzet Merc tie that you can follow on the past videos, of course. I'm playing at Grixis That Shadow now. Grixis That Shadow is uh, one of the most popular deck. And uh, I haven't played it yet very much on my channel. So I want to do it today. 19 lands. Similarly to the uh, Is it Merc Tide, one more because we don't have Serum Visions and Consider in this deck. You just have to manually draw your card. Four Lightning Bolt, two Anoli Heat, four Thoughts is to Inquisition. This deck is just a, mer the, a mismatch of the best cards in the format for real, except Dread and the Lock, which I guess in this deck is reasonable since you're not like, you know, they're not like exiling your graveyard or anything. Sorry, they're not like exiling their graveyard or anything with Red Progenitus. Except they are sometimes. Um, and then, of course, you play Lures. No, I'm sure that people in the chat will address it, people in the comments will address it. Wizards of the Coast has announced in a BNR on next uh, Tuesday. They haven't said any format. It's pretty, it was pretty. Um, people just think that it's gonna be modern and it's gonna be legacy. And, um, you know, so that we just uh, say that and so that we don't talk about it anymore. Uh, I believe that uh, Modern is the most healthy format uh, ever. You have like four or five decks on the top of the meta game. Nothing has to be banned. If only they'll feel like doing it, they can unban things. Because the power level of Modern Horizons 2 climbed up a lot and you can unban stuff. And you can do that. And that's funny if they do. So, that's what I expect to see. No cards being banned. Something will be unbanned. What will it be unbanned? I don't exactly know. It's gonna be fun to see. What about Legacy? Legacy was this format where uh, you had Ragavan dominating for months. Around, I wanna say, September, October, November. And then, just people, you know, it took a long time. But people eventually just adapted. And for the last four or five events, Delver is playing like... One player only makes the top eight and it's GPA, and uh, but they can still ban the Lurus card because Le Legacy players, uh, despite owning hundreds and hundreds of dollars in dual land, they hate to spend money on new cards. So people are just quitting the format rather than um, yeah, which is fine. I mean, you just you have to make a adjustment based on what people want you don't have to make adjustment of what is right in my opinion there's still a company that needs to keep their customer around so i think banning ragaman makes sense in legacy definitely about in modern modern is perfect when is the announcement on uh, uh tuesday or thursday i, I never i always confuse tuesday and thursday all right, GLHF Tron Walker. Ooh, Tron Walker, I know this person. They're playing Tron and they're playing Planeswalkers. I've played against them sometimes. All right, welcome to this league with Grixis Death, Death Shadow Anzi. I have uh, Totsies, the first ever better Twitch TV emote of Pepe Hands. Opponent plays Serum Powder twice. Chromatic Sphere. Okay. I'm gonna go Mishra's Bubble on. Uh, huh. I can't just go Spell Pierce up this turn. Yeah, Ray. I'm gonna Bubble you. I see a Walking Barista. And then I'm gonna go Spell Pierce up. It's risky because if they have like double uh, Sylvan Scrying or stuff like that, they might get to Tron. And I don't want that to happen. Okay, they just don't do anything. Mm, I know they have a Walking Barista in hand. I'm gonna keep on bubbling them, I think. I don't mind. Engineering Bridge. Okay. Play a Thought Seize because I want to see your hand first. Huh. 
Huh. Playing Green Tron with Serum Powder. They're not playing any Planeswalker anymore. I have Inquisition of Kozak to discard Walking Varista, so I'll probably take that later. For now, I'll just focus on Inquisition on, um, yeah, on that one. And I keep on passing, keeping up Spell Pierce. I draw a card with the Mishra's Bubble. And obviously, like, if I Mishra's Bubble myself, I wouldn't draw these lands. But I think I also I have a Spell Pierce, so I kind of want to know what they're drawing here. We're now cycling this here in case they draw a green card. Draw. Not discard their hand here. Chandler, Inquisition, Thoughtsies. Ragaban. I don't mind a Ragaban dash next turn. Actually, I changed my mind. I want to get Delirium. Small mistake, but okay. They, they cycle and they find it is near and bridge. Okay. I pass the drone in the lock up. I'll return Lurus next turn. Oh yeah, Javier's list doesn't play basic mountain, that's true. And now what I'll be doing is uh, I'll uh, just bubble myself with a fetch land. Oh, I can attack with the Chandler now. That's sweet. I'll probably play Lurus. Bubble. Graveyard the land. I don't have any lands left. Oh, I have Swamp left. Okay. And now I can ride the Lurus bubble while having drawn him up. Edition map. Counter. I want you to get Delirium. Sorry, I don't want you to get Tron. If you get Tron, I'm probably also able to unlock the bridge. I think I'm gonna dash Ragavan. That's 8 damage. You got a 9, that you die to 3 bolts, which can happen since I have 2 this. Arndegwear creator. That's a good draw. I'm gonna play it. I can also activate the Ensnaring Bridge and kill it with a bolt. Pretty sick. Yeah, today I decided to play good decks. I've lost way too many play points playing mean decks. And get one of these cards. I think I don't mind right now. I, I honestly just plus one on for real. Expedition map, they can't activate it because of card. I pull, then I go get Pirate Spellbomb, and then I'm lethal. Finishing the game with three duration in end is pretty fun.
All right. GG. Playing against Tron. Tron, Tron, Tron. Tron, Tron, Tron. Funny indeed. Playing against Command is coming in. Alpine Moon is coming in. Bell Pierce. I don't think Dresden is particularly strong. How about Lightning Bolt? Lightning Bolt, Anoli Heat, Kruxa. Maybe I don't like Kruxa. Hmm. They have rather good progenitors for sure, right? Yeah. I think I'm taking out Kruxa, Dress Downs, and one Drown. Nah, maybe a couple of Bolts. I think it Dress Down. Maybe one. Pretty funny on, uh, on, on, on Vroom Coil. You just do this, and then you'll only hit the Vroom Coil. Ron Walker. Tron Walker used to play with Planeswalker and Tron. They give up on one of the two. I guess the two still play the Great Creator. Alright, they started the game with uh, 14 cards less in their deck. Unfortunately, we don't play Mill. We play Mill and my opponent goes double serum powder. We have to Mill only. Oh no, I can't count. Oh wow, they're also mulligan into three. Man, are they looking for like what? Bazaar of Baghdad? Probably. Kind of sure. Do you mulligan as much as my opponent when you play Bazaar of Baghdad? Mulligan to two cards. That's very few cards. A funny story. Um, on Sunday, I played. Uh, on Sunday, I played uh, Vintage. I guess their hand is uh, resilient to discard spell now oh, because so they have no cards in hand. I played Vintage and I was playing like this Grixis deck, right? And um, we we got we got pizza uh, delivery, and uh, we got our first uh, the, the round starts like the what I don't know third round starts and pizza arrives and we're like oh no now our pizza's gonna get cold, and then our opponent for real like they. If the match lasts two minutes, because they mulligan to like one and two or stuff, and just don't make a play. Hold them. Not that it's fun or anything, it's just you know, crazy that I don't know. It exists to the act that just mulligans to one and two. All right, target art, uh, discard a card as your target artifact. The Popper tournament go went great. We I went uh, four zero. It was the first time in a long time that I did well in Popper. I didn't play against any Affinity or Blue decks. You can't trade for one week because you're restricted. Maybe they sent you an email saying that. You can't for, I don't know, reasons. Pretty insane, honestly, seeing yesterday the people like, so many people tuning in to be interested in Popper. I like I like to see it. Yeah, play against then. Then it's too familiar. Uh, one mono black. And one um, mono white uh, ball goes in the final.
there's this card called uh, Dawn Cleric something that's so good against Boggles because it blows up the enchantment and it's a 1 3, which is like a pretty big deal. I don't think they can restrict or is a second vintage, no. All right, first match is in the books. I'll go refill the water and be back in a second. Okay. Find an opponent immediately because everyone loves modern. Yeah, people like bannings when they don't ban the cards that you own. That's always been the case. Although for modern, I think it's slightly different since decks are super cheap. Plus, like. The cards that they banned, other than the ATOG, wasn't were really that much played. So, I don't know. Honestly, I haven't seen many people complain. When they announced the ban ATOG, the place went wild. Everybody cheered. It was insane. Because the store owner was like, Oh no, we have to shut up. You know, he's just was pretty scary that people would complain. And then... Um, and then they announced the, the ban of uh, prismatic and, uh, Prophetic Prism and the other card, and people were like, nah, it's possible, like, this must be a fake. I can't ever you know, think about banning those cards, which is, like, so unreal that they did on it. Alright, uh, Planet doesn't play a companion. Do I want... Do I want to draw that card? I don't think I do, actually, though. I don't think I do. Yeah, I'm playing out here, Domingos. Minus one drown, plus one spell pierce. Prism is essentially Astrolabe, what well, for more mana? It's like saying, uh, I don't know. Incinerate is basically Bolt. Incinerate is playing basically Bolt. Yeah. Incinerate is... I guess Incinerate doesn't make a regeneration app. Okay, so opponent's playing uh, the uh, leading end. The end that lives. Will it live through a Ragaband though? Probably will. Ragaband is not amazing here since, well, we can't cast the cards that we hit. Raining. The thing I plan to not do anything today and just stay home and, and chill. Oh, I can pump my team post combat. Hello, um. What can I do? I can return Lurus here. I don't think it's a bad idea because otherwise I just don't do anything. Thank you, Saucy Flossy.
They can't make Living End on turn two because Sina Spirit Guide is not legal. So I'll just be attacking here and then for sure I have to play Thoughtseize this turn because if they have exactly one uh, Cascade spell, I'll take it. I thought I hated that shadow. That shadow is an interesting card. Interesting card for sure. You paying thefting my Regaban? Huh. It. So what do you think if, hear me out, I don't play Thoughtseize? Huh? What if I don't play Thoughtseize here? They only have a Grief in the graveyard. What did I go? Charlotte's Grief? To only kill my Lurs? I just hate to be non man efficient. This is the thing I hate the most about magic. Not top all my lands every turn. If I go Thoughts is Ragavan, I have one, one mana left remaining, and I just hate that feeling. Yeah, the just came popper. I played that yesterday, it was really good. Pretty fun. You can tap the mole and no one and, and no mana burn you. That you can do that. That's like saying, yeah, you can you can you can not finish your meal. You're just you just put the food to I don't know. You just throw it away. You just it's over. Plate is empty at the end. Okay, I think it paid off. My opponent didn't go off. It was a good, it was a good play. I think it was a good play. Don't leave in fear. Oh, maybe you can leave in fear. Oh, I should have played Bubble Precom, but if they bounce this Lurus... Yeah, I should have definitely played this Precom. Oh well, I lost the card. Because, yeah, they're gonna 100% go uh, Brazen Bar right here. Maybe not. Wasted a card. Opponent did the classic play, just you have a card that you can gain value from in main phase one, you forget to do so, and I'll bounce you in upkey or begin combat. So you just you know, I could have done this like in their turn. Instead they waited for like combat phase and I just didn't flashback the cards. Obviously I made a mistake, it's just funny that they also played this way. All right, uh, yeah, can Inquisition, since all their cards cost more than three? Should have probably played Thoughtsies, though. Because that would have told me two damage. Yeah, this is the my this is my uh, unfamiliarity with the shadow with the shadow deck. This is one of my first few one of my first leagues with Great Shadow for sure. I'm gonna bolt myself, I guess. Did you draw that? Yeah. I'm gonna go bolt myself here. Should I bolt myself here? Oh. 
If, if I bold myself, I can go Lurs, Bubble, Shadow. But it's bad if they draw exactly Cascaders. They only have Grief in the graveyard, so even if they draw a Cascader, it doesn't do much. I think opponent's very new to the living ending. Exhaust Song and Ruin. <clears throat> okay. Uh, what do I do now? <clears throat> Yeah, I think I just want to go Lurse, Bubble. See their top card and then based off of that decide whether I want to deploy Shadow or not. I could have like bubbled them first and then decide not to attack with this. Maybe that was actually the best line. Alright, I'm learning. That was the best line so that I couldn't just one shot them with Shadow. You basically have to treat Shadow like a Merc that region that costs one mana. It doesn't touch the graveyard. When you put it this way, it does feel very good. It has trade right on top, which is... Eh. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't know what's gonna happen next turn yet. Oh yeah, yeah. So I have 5 damage here next turn. Problem is that if they played that shadow... I think 5 damage is enough to be lethal next turn. Because they, they, they cycle down to 7 and then it's lethal with the bolt. I keep the death shot in case they go leave again now. Downside doesn't find it's weak to ending. Yeah. Also weak to solitude. Our opponent considered without doing uh, very much, honestly. Not very impressive. Ooh, my bombs, my pierce, my, uh, actually I don't want mystical dispute, I'm not sure, definitely cutting the coal against command, the dress down seems awful, Kroxa doesn't seem amazing, I know the heat seems bad, maybe terminate's fine, maybe dispute is fine, Maybe Kroxa is fine. I don't know if Terminate is alright. Probably. Oh, let's keep Kroxa. <sighs> Fit a day with a four month sub, thank you so much. Appreciate it. That woke me up a little bit there. All right, chill Collins, double cycles, three raids, and pasta turn. Thank you so much. Let's go. Crypta de sangue. Crypta de sangria. How's blood in Spanish? Sangre? No, how, how is it? Pretty sure the word sangria comes from blood, but I don't remember exactly the word for blood. Sangre. Yeah, yeah I know, I know, I know. Vagabond. I think I'll graveyard this. Graveyarding creature is nice in this. Ok, 
cripta sangrienta. Nice. Now, in Portuguese, is like same as in Italian, basically. The card keys. Oh, in Portuguese is the same as in Italian. Oh, cool. Sangue. All right, I missed a spell to get delirium. Hopefully, I draw like a discard spell. If I don't, I just keep up this drown. Draw bold. Bold. Attack and pass, because next turn opponent can already do the thing. Johan, wait to buy or sell cards. Wait next Tuesday. Because they might, like, do some bannings. You don't want to get caught in it. Yeah, I can I can see that you're bored of, of playing uh, Hummer. The problem of bu of buying those decks is that these decks are just they just do that thing and you can't really move around very easily. Like if you buy Shadow, you can just you know play other decks very easily. Like you can just build different decks. Whereas if you buy Hammer, you have like only the cards for Hammer. Well, yesterday I purchased Esper Sentinel. Finally, when they hit the peak, the highest price. Purchase them in a typical Papango mode. I was going popper last night. Nice, that's one very nice. Okay, let's see if they go Cascaders. They don't. Quinn is already an 8, eh? E che facciamo? Nothing, I just play a top land. A little bit afraid of them uh, to go Cascaders end of turn. I counter and then Cascaders in their turn. Could have also played both end of turn to surveil, but I was afraid of Violent Burst in response. I think we played fine. They go living again now, I still have four lining bolts in my deck. They're at seven life. They reanimate many people. Very many people. Did they target me? Yeah. I draw Ragaban. If the Ragaban blocks the way, how much damage do I take? 5, 8, 11, 15, 18, 20. The full 20. The play Shadow? And I block the two largest thing and I take 3, 6, 10, 15. I chomp these two and I bolt this, I take 3, 6, 10, 12. Alright, I don't have any out there. Unless they like, I don't know, dog first. I should have gone for lethal last turn. Yeah, balance burst.
And that you had two cascade spell this way. Sure, if they have it, they have it. It's fine. Shadow lives. Yep, that's true. That's my plan. I mean, I'm gonna kill two creatures and survive, and we'll see. The way it works, that shadow, sometimes I forget about it. Like, you block a 7-7, seven, seven, but in that combat you go, to, you go to one life, well, the shadow leaves. I don't know. And again, it's so un unintuitive that I always forget about it. Opponent knows what my top deck is because they architects of will me earlier. They fixed the architects as well. Yes, they did. Come on, attack with all. Attack with all. Yes. Attack with all and ignore the rule. No, they know the rule? What? You didn't know that the person borrowed flying. Could, couldn't block the flyers and now you know this rule? That's weird. How can you know that this rule and you just don't know that Brazen Bar doesn't block Flyer? Yeah, this somehow survives. Yeah, I'm now dead. Trying the lock? I knew the rule after. You go, go, well done, knowing the rule. I just look at my cyber and I see all unplayables. <laughs> I think I'm happy with this. I don't know if Crooks is good. Maybe, maybe a Pirate Spell Bomb's better. We have two Nihil Spell Bump. I think I'm gonna lead with one because I... They might have forced a negation and they counter it. Not knowing a second one happens. Not sure if the watery grave was the land to take. I just have spell pierce and the thoughts is so. Now that this is in play, it's basically a counter for the um cascade effect. Blend. Blend. Land, 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 land. Huh, they have Endurance. And they have Waker of Waves. I think I don't mind Waker of Waves, person. I just take an Endurance because that's like a beat, a beat down plan that I can take. Actually, they can't never cast Endurance. Okay, I'll take the Whale then. They're so far away from casting Endurance. Ooh!
I think they wanted to look for uh, for force of negation. That's why they they cycle three rate or more. I think so. They drew a green card. I think now I'm gonna attempt to exile endurance. Nice, very nice, really nice. And I think now it's the exclamation mark lose. Not that I. Not that I fear too much this card, it's just that a 3-4 reach is something, and I just don't have anything. So, that's why I want to take it. Rectus mid-range? Yeah, the deck, I mean... You can play it. You, you, you know that it's not like a very good deck, but you enjoy the grief, uh, grief ephemery thing. It's definitely a thing you can do. I was thinking maybe I should go crack bomb now. It's just too bad if they draw three rates. So I'll keep. I'll let you do it. And now I have to go land untapped. I just can't uh, do anything. Because if I crack this, they just go violent at first. Oh wow, they go grief. That's fine. As long as I don't just tap my bomb, they, they, they can't do anything. Yeah, I can just discard. Sure. Discard a card. I have a clue of what they're doing. It's so unreal to me that they knew the rule of that shadow. I just still cannot believe it. You cannot believe it. F6. You're yeah, leaving again the violence for all uh probably do this. And bottom. Yes, <clears throat> I'm also going to add a bubble you because if you see, I see that. Sure. I don't want to play shadow because <clears throat> they can just go Charles agent here. Oh, peace and love. Rotsa. Bonjour, Rotsa. Don't play land. Right, respected.
I respect your choice. And this shadow will go all the way. Next turn I fetch, so it'll be a six. And I keep up my two counter spell. Fetch. Attack for six. I don't even bother playing Ragavan now. I'll just leave up these two. And attack three times. And win that way. I was considering casting Ragavan, but in the case I draw a Shock Land next turn, it's still like 9, so the Ragavan isn't lethal regardless. So might as well just leave up both a Drown and Spell Pierce. And just having uh, that Shadow being. Uh, like it doesn't lose to. endurance because it's just you know not correlated to your graveyard that's why it's that's what's pulling this deck to be as good as it is i'm not even thought seizing i'll just leave up drown and spears i guess i can go exactly grief peach fear macabre and then cascaders mm. and maybe thoughts is, is important for that All right, we got this. Do, 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 death shadow. The shadow of death. Similar game plan to is with Merc type. Play one threat, back it up with counter magic, but you also have this curse spell, so you are even better against the combo decks. Than Ezid Merc that it is. All right, new match. Brett Wayne. I land heavy hand, but thanks to alerts, it's a four land, four spells hand, so I can't really mulligan like anything. Alright, opponent keeps, bottoms a card, and plays Urza's Power Plan. Go. This Power Plan Go usually means... Uh, I don't know, I think it means Drawn. I mean, I think it means Eldrazi Drawn and the Blade Shadows of the Void, so I'm gonna keep up Spell Pierce. Or it just means that they have not... A 
Obligan Stone and you don't have Tron. Brixa goes in the graveyard. I'm halfway to Lyrim now. I think I'll be dashing this. To raise the clock a little bit. Er wow, I know there is this tower. That's their Tron land. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, go. What up? What up, bolt you here? See if I see a sorcery artifact in the graveyard. I'm gonna bottom that too. By bottom, I mean graveyard. The Shadow of Death and the Kroxa. I wanna kill them next turn, can I? Shadow of Death is a 4 4. Kroxa is a, ten, is a 6 6, so that's 10. Plus 1 is 11. But I have a dash to a Ragavan, so I think I'm lethal next turn. Yeah, I'm not gonna have uh, Drown in the Luck up. It only counters a one drop. Go Kroxa. Delving away. Discard a card. Add up a Shadow of Death. The 4-4. Four, four. Got an Ancient Steering. Next turn I have 10, 11, 13 exactly. Glue, glue, glue. Alright, they conceded. Nice. Pine Moon, Sophia, Sophia. A command, K command. Taking out. Anoli Heat. Press down. Ruxa. The one mystical dispute in this matchup. I don't think it's good. I can leave a correct or I can even on lowly heat. I think I'll go on lowly heat. You have in my turn one on ancient steerings. Okay. First doubt and terminate for Ulama Vernacle. I think it's not really a winning game plan. We could do that, but I don't like it. I'm gonna leave this on tap and play Inquisition of Code. Exactly. Probably the position of Kozilek is that on the draw, it's not great. So you want to just play it as soon as possible. Whereas Spell Pierce is still lead, uh, alive later in the game. See a Thought Seize. I don't mind the Thought Seize, I'll draw it.
Yeah, I suggest you do not go for that route. Edition map, ah uh, yeah. So they got Delirium, unless I go Spell, they got Tron, unless I go Spell Pierce, and then I go Coligan's Command. Not an amazing line, but I think it works, and if that deck doesn't have Delirium, um, Tron, you saw in previous game, they just, they just don't do anything, so. Despite this is maybe not an amazing play, I think it's still, like, better than my option of just letting this resolve and lose to Tron. I don't even need to fetch. Do I deal 2 damage to myself here with K-Command, or make you discard a card? So they have Ugin and Ulapog. If they cast any of those, I lose the game. I think I'll deal 2 damage to myself. They Tron me, they Tron me. They didn't have a land this turn, I think. No, they, they did. All right. Star. Sphere, okay. They passed. Great. Ragaban. Blood Crypt. No, Dash Ragaban. Or I can just go Triple Creature. So if I go Double Shadow, it's 2 2. I can bolt myself and, and Thought Seize later, so that's 5. I'll go to 6, so that's 10 12. I can put it up to turn 2 clock. I don't think I want to Thought Seize now. Even if they go Carnegie Creator, I couldn't care less. I think I like Ragaban Double Shadow. That's just two extra damage. That might be matter. Don't think I care about the mana of the treasure token. Please, no Blast Zone. I'll start with Thoughtseize. I'll take the card that's the worst if they draw Tron, which is probably Ugin and Ula, uh, Ugin and Vermcoil Engine. That's the only thing I lose to. I don't lose to the other card, I think. Wow, I win the game. The game. Yeah. Uh, shocking herself with Quilligan's command was very real. I think the, the, the spell pierce Quilligan's command play was, was really important to do. Tron just is a terrible matchup against this deck. Uh, earlier this week, I played three leagues with Tron, actually. We even managed to trophy one. Uh, in my list, I have four walking ballista now. And I have four Radical Progenitus main. And I definitely have zero Carnegie Creator. But, I mean, not that. I don't mind. At nice hand. Yeah. Just basically you have to think that making them discard a card there with K-Command just doesn't really matter. TBL is not updated. I'm sorry. I'm surprised no one noticed until now.
It's good. Today I just felt like playing some good decks and winning some matches. After a week of uh, Crab Vine, Death and Taxes, and 1 3, 2 3s, I like to play some, some Ragavan. Similar to old Rook Delver. <laughs> I think comparing decks of modern to Legacy is always wrong because you don't have Wasteland Days for so forth. But yeah. These decks are cheap decks with. Oh, my opponent doesn't play Companion. It usually means combo. I don't think this end is like good in general. Like that shadow without lands is just a terrible card. Okay. Let's go with this. A bottom a bubble. No track in this list. Yeah, no track in this list. And that deck to Javier Dominguez. Hello, Lishan Mint. Thank you, for, thank you to thank you to you, thank you to you, Unleashed and okay, they probably play Spell Pierce. I'm just passing here. And against is it Merktide? Oh no, it's Living End. Okay then. I'll bubble myself and then decide to fetch or not. Uh I'll fetch. You take it on top, huh? Okay. Draw two. They only have Cascaders, they don't have uh, Cyclers. Yeah, yeah, Murktai has been really good. I mean, in previous league we went 4-1 losing to, losing to Bellature, which is in theory a good matchup. So, that was also like obviously... Back for four. I don't need to bolt myself quite yet, I think. I can wait for that. Huh. Play Kroxa. Start a Swamp Walk. Actually very relevant. Is there a reason to fetch EOT when you take untapped anyways? Yes. Fetching end of turn thins your deck. You have one less land in your deck. So you are less likely to draw one in 48-49. I'm gonna bolt this. Play against two Tron and two Living End in this league, so wild.
I'm gonna go Swamp. Kruxa. Actually, change my plan, I think. If you go Kruxa, just attack me, then what? Nah, it's fine. I have to top the cannoli heat exactly next turn. Do that, I'll take out my graveyard though. How much of my graveyard do I take out? Uh, I still got delirium, right? Yeah. Still got delirium with iteration. Swamp walk, super relevant. They have outbursts, but they don't die to outbursts. Because my shadow comes back and I block the river strip winder and then I take two. I have to look for the. Anoli heat? Or I'm dead. Good game. Could have done this first last turn. I just felt like even if I find a Noli Heat, I'm still losing to the to the card again. So I wanted to have a, a clock in play first. Not sure if it's good, right or wrong. Probably wrong. They don't play this that this game at the best of my abilities. Attack first, Kruxa was better. You think they discard, uh... Yeah, maybe. Maybe they discard force. To keep the final outburst. Could be. They did like a super mini Living Gand that still defeated me because I took myself like 11 damage. And the three attack was very rare good enough. I think this is a good matchup though. Play against combo must be a good match for us. Only play against combo today, by the way. The whole league and yesterday and the previous league too, basically. Let's go. I can't be a bad man. You have like only cheap interaction and you also play Graveyard 8. With the two bombs. You have two cards. Alright, Thought sees. Hmm. As I said earlier, I like to take Endurance here. Just as a 3-4 reach could be annoying. I still play a Channeler deck. I'm still a Channeler deck. Oh. They cycle the Wing Caller Aven. I got more blue because of my spell pierces. Hold 
the whale. <clears throat> oh wow, first of negation with Picture Brazen Bar or Sure. If three cards in hand. If two whales in the graveyard. Our graveyard's loaded. Definitely do not fetch in the turn. Lose the game if you do so. Kirk says not great. I think it's better than the other options in the sideboard. Like, what do I draw? Dress down just as a cycle? Definitely don't want to draw Nolly Heat. I don't want to draw Terminate. I don't want to draw Cold Against Command. Maybe Cold Against Command is better than Kirk's, I don't know. I'm gonna wait one more. I mean, I'm happy if they, we trade uh, press iteration for force. Last turn. I have two cards. One is a. Uh, no, no, I don't know anything. Actually, ran out of blue sources, by the way. Oh my. I don't have a blue source anymore. Uh, who needs spell bomb? Um, I think I do. And bottom exile. I'll go land bomb. Bond is the first guy you never knew existed. Bonders ornament is a uh, fine in some popper Q games. Killigan's comment, what's up, librarian? I didn't follow you. What did you say? No inquisition, of course. I could probably have two lands in hand. Hey, do I want to just clean the graveyard? I think it's not a bad idea. This is a good draw in case they have the Curator of Mysteries. <clears throat> Hello to me yourself. Ah, but my creatures are so small. Creatures in Living Gant these days don't get outclassed. They play uh, the Waker of Waves. You just don't outclass this card. It's impossible. And they even have flyers. It's fine. We only need to draw the permission. Uh, we're we're good in this game. Obviously, we have like some terrible cards like Kroxa and Bolts, but I can't submit fifty four, so I have to I have to keep some of them in my deck. Maybe Javier's list is way more geared towards beating the mirror. That's. Or the Merc that region, that's why you see the two terminates, the two push, the three commands. Yeah, and like you assume that combo is a good matchup, so you just have some dead cards. But that's okay, I think. Alright. Game three on the draw. Obviously being on the draw is super scary, but can you say? Sometimes you sometimes. Okay, very good end. You both oh no Eli, why didn't you try to sni snipe Q against me? Oh wow, Lena of Sanctity? <gasps> Pogs Pogs doesn't work. Porca merda. Porca merda chat. Lena of Sanctity. He's found Bob, he's dead. Dead card. Oh, come out of that. I lost. Basically lost. I mean, Dragon Lock can counter leaving end, thankfully. 
I was in Soul Gal. Yeah. I don't know though, like Spell Bomb is very good and against like the Lurus decks. And Spell Bomb is not a good card. Yeah, that's that's the that's the only reason, not another reason. Another to what? Did we mention any reason to play Lantern? I think if you want black you should have this card. But Thoughts is my bomb, but my opponent sees my hand, I don't want that to happen. Split, split usually one one, yeah, that's fine. I can get behind that, but I just want to have access to Nihil Spell if I play black. Such a good card in the in the Lurus with in the Lurus Mirror because you can't rebuy with Lurus. You just it's so good. Thoughts is the spell bomb. You don't get the Lyrium first. Also, it shows my opponent. It shows the opponent my hand, which might be already happening for you know reasons, but. I don't necessarily want it to happen. I guess it can happen. The thing is that it's not even Delirium, you know what I mean? Like, I don't even have Delirium if I make that play. Okay. Nice. Surveilling a dead card. Ah, feels good. I think I'll play this untapped here so that I have these two up. <gasps> Endurance. Right, counter target spell. That's why I didn't fetch. They could just reveal it in the graveyard. Oh wow, you take three now. Cool. I have now Mystical Dispute Fuel Retail. I draw a card also. A composite, yeah, been a good day. Let's see if this channeler can go all the way up. I need to find some counters with this iteration here. I'm not fetching end of turn, no point because go outburst, leaving again end of turn. Or just on top, and like if I draw a shadow, I'm happy to just take three damage. If I don't, I don't want to. All right, hopefully they don't have a. Hopefully they don't have a mystical dispute. And if they have it, they have it. All right, good game. On a right spell. You did. All right, good game. Leyland of Sanctity wins. Congrats. Picked up a loss, but that's okay. Let's go get that. Let's go get the four one after my bathroom break. Be back in a minute, and when I come back, I want to read all your questions. If I think that Ragavan or Urza Saga will be banned next Monday.
Okay. Let's go. Mm -mm. You like to play Feed the Swarm? Uh, unfortunately, this card is very narrow. Very narrow. It's fine. If they have the Ley Line, you lose. They play like... That's fine. I don't think it's a big deal. Alright, for the finals, we play against Bomb Track. And we're on the play. Oh. They played a Wellspring. Wellspring means affinity. Or it means Tron without walking barista. This end is excellent. Excellent. Yeah, you can target Saga, for sure. I mean, the problem with those cards is that they're really narrow. Like, they're only good against Leyland of Sanctity and... Yeah, I mean, there's... Uh, like, paying two mana to a play a removal spell. Like, you're already playing... Terminate, and it's only for Merc that Regent, and you definitely cannot uh, feed the Swarm and Merc that Regent. Seven damage is not a normal thing to do. So, you only have that, like, kind of slim. Because, like, again, paying two mana for a removal spell is really a lot. In a form with, I don't know, only Heat Lightning Bolt and Fatal Push and Prismatic Ending and whatnot. Opponent said, big fan, hello, and then went on uh we just went to the bathroom probably for two minutes big fan but you have to ponder about two minutes now okay are expected he wasn't sure it's fine i mean you asked the question no problem yeah exactly da 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 Oh, I saw a lot of talk about... Oh, sorry, delivery came to the door. That's why they left. All right, sure. I saw that there's a lot of hype about uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Did they make, like, Magic Arena uh, for Yu-Gi-Oh? Does anybody know? Blank. Big fan of Mangu. Let me help him by giving him two minutes of blank no content time. Exactly, Light Shadows. <laughs> Every other game made their own Magic Arena. Even even Pokemon? Nice. Lots of hype, yeah. Have you have anyone in the chat tried it? I think I'll go ahead and uh, kill this Mem Knight. <laughs> Lorenzo Ronnie, thank you. Sempre al top, uh, yes. Sempre al top. Mango zero nueve. It looked okay. Alright. Is it is it a fake free to play? Or is it a real free to play? Is it a pay to play? How do, how did they how did they make it? Power is a saga, ay ay ay. No, they must have drawn Memnite now. <laughs> I wish I got Memnite roster with the Ragaban. Ooh, Tumana Froggy. And 
Froggy. Oh, is it with Magic Online? You buy the cards on the on the client. Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't have limit. Doesn't have limit. No way. How can you make a game without limited? Nice rest downs with Urza Saga on the opposite side. Alright, this is the Lear Room. I need this lands, thank you. I should call line. I like it. I'm happy to trade Ragaban for a froggy. Flop terribly. Come on, man. I would never guess that a game of cards exists with a draft. You play Yu Gi Oh! It's a spiky game, but really fun and can be played more casually. Okay, I mean, that's so lucky I drew two dragons. Let's just fetch for a top land here. I don't want to shock anyone. I don't want to shock anymore. Draw. Thought these. Because mm -mm, I could go dress down. Huh. Or I could go. I think I want to go thoughts easier. It may be a two lands in end. I want to go thoughts easy. Because I don't want to go expressive iteration. Because if I don't flip a land, it's terrible. I guess I'm going to go thoughts easy. Hope I'm not dead to like a Galvanic Blast now. This is not a bad card, I'm keeping it on top. I wish I now didn't do Wow, Double Zero's Companion? That's so. That's very large. And it's coming down. Thank god I play Dress Down in this deck. Just play Quirks, alright? No! Play Quirks, you're dead. Oh look, you make a colorless construct. And I think now I want to dress down. Let these things die. I draw the drown. And then I fetch. After drawing the drown. So that my opponent can't um, get pithing needle. All right, you go. No, it's okay. I don't mind playing about Yu-Gi-Oh. It's much better than talking about bands. That's basically the only topic of the day, which is kind of also one of the reasons why I decided to play the two days decks. All right. Let's see if they have a lane to keep the spear. Even if they do, it's not a big deal. If they do, it's not a big deal because she already drained me for free. But next turn, I have the removal spell up. Draw. Nice. So strong, the Shadow of Death. And did it in their face, because that way my opponent couldn't be able to cast uh, this. If you wait for them to put the spear in play, they cast the Sojourner's Companion for free there. I can cast Expressive Iteration and be extra greedy. I'm a big non-fan of extra greediness in spots like this, where I'm very far ahead. So I just go Shadow and be non-efficient in mana. Everyone's playing 8 casts and everyone's guaranteed triple thought monitor on turn 1. We throw kind of spell back. Oh, playing vintage is fun, I think. It's for a little bit, no, not always. But like, if you're used to it, it's fun. I don't know. Try to play the English, sure. 
on the track. I think Affinity is like, of course, my opponent's deck is, is reasonable, but I think the Uvu 8 cast is just better than Affinity. That's actually the title of my, my YouTube video. It's 8 cast is better than traditional Affinity. And uh, it's, it's really good. If you watch the video, you see me doing very fun stuff. I'm definitely going to play that deck again next week, I think. Vabbè. Pacco cazzo. 277 now. We were supposed to counter the plating there. I think I keep on not being mine efficient. Just play Ragav and go. Or I can pass and go dress down drown. That's also good, I think. Oh, actually, if I go dress down, drown. Lose the game. I might be dead on board. Am I dead on board? I don't think I am. I think I should have countered the uh, dress down the cranial plating. That's my that's my mistake. Okay. 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 I'll play dress down. This will lose trample. I chump block it and then I win the game. I could trade actually, maybe it's better. I think it's better to trade. Not, not that it really matters. Oh yeah, that's chump. This way, if they keep their card in hand, not dying to my Kroxa, they... I can draw a removal spell and win. Alright, let's see if I... If, let's see if they cast their card. If they cast their card... I, I win. Okay, they don't. Draw. Removal? So I can go Kroxa, but if you have a spell in end, I lose the game. I don't want to lose the game. If I go Expressive Iteration, I can find Lightning Bolt and Holy Heat. I can find so many things if I go Expressive Iteration. Yeah, I think I'll go Expressive Iteration here. There's so many outs I can find. Sorry, Kroxa. You're not supposed to happen this game. Come on, to dig one deep, find so many things here. All right, not that one. So many things I can find. Ah, I lose. Cazzo chat, I lose. Ma porca puttana. Ah, 
I feel like losing this game was definitely my fault. Just to relax. You went to kill the companion, in, but then I didn't have lethal if I draw no heat. And also, what does it change? I trade here. Then it just to keep it on this guy, I still lose. It is not over yet. Let's see. And bottom exile. Now I go run in the lock on the frogmite. Actually, I probably don't need to do that. If I shock my, if I play that shadow, do I die? To the maybe I don't. I also die to Memnite now. If I could have a fetch land that gets me a basic land here. If I could get a fetch land that gets a basic land to cast this drown, maybe I survive, but I have to go to one, so even the Memnite kills me. But maybe they don't kill me with the Memnite. I did not expect to lose this game. I lost because I just wasn't mine efficient. That's why. I had so many cards, I just died with cards in hand. When you die with cards in hand, you punted. Can't fetch basic swamp with scalding. No shit. No shite. That's a good attack. No, 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 va bene, maybe, I haven't done the math, but maybe there's a chance, oh, I milled the lands, no, I milled all the lands, steam vents, lot crypt, I don't know, I don't, because I go to one, kill this, this is, ah. I think I actually survive. Because I killed this, this is a 12. And this is a 12, so I block, block, I don't die. I mean, you try and worm me, do what? <laughs> what could I do at that point? Alright. Uh, brutal game. I really, really thought I had to... Really thought I had to... Like... Focus a lot to lose this game. It was it wasn't easy to lose this game. Congrats, Pepangu. Trample? No, because I killed the frogmite. So the thing it's uh twelve five. Could have fetched before. Yeah, I guess could have fetched before. But then I go to one, I die simply if they attack with Memnite. Like if I fetch before, I die if they attack with Memnite. Like they didn't attack with Memnite, you know? Like if I, if I fetch before, they just attack with all. You have so much cyber. Just look how much cyber do I have. Now probably I'll take out expressive iteration. I want to keep thoughts. They can't move plating. No, 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 I kill Frogmite with my Drown. They only have two attackers. I have two shadows to block him. Like, if I have a- if they make that attack, and I have a land in my deck, I, I survive. Of course, like, they didn't have to do anything in end. Someone is screaming Lurus Ban on Monday? It's not gonna be you anymore, though, at least. How is Dispute been? Fine, I mean, it's a- card in the sideboard i don't have any i don't have any uh, strong opinion on the on the matter
It's I net decked the list of uh, Javier, and I think it's always a safe thing to do. Yeah, yeah, of course, you know, we can grind from there, but... Channeler on top. I think I like to draw a Dragon's Rage Channeler. Is there anything that isn't the land I like to? You know, I know it's a small thing in the in the grand scheme of things, but if they would just make magic online lands just not get close to each other when you have like no permanence, that I would appreciate that. But again, it's a very small thing. <laughs> My opponent lands are uh, <laughs> indestructible, which is nice. I can't stone rain them. Yeah, I do like Lightning Bolt. I mean, obviously, result oriented, but I won a game because I bolted my opponent out and I couldn't win anymore, any, anyway. I. Having Bolt, I think, is pretty great in the mirror match. I'm not sure, though. I'm not. What do you do? Nothing. I'm not moving here. Oh, it's, it's fine. I'll just untap and see what I draw. I can just blow up these two. Or I can play a Chandler and pass. I think I like that more. All these creatures, all these cards are pretty like. I don't. I don't. I don't care about killing them. I should have got block right there and, and steam vents with the other one. Yeah. Should have done that. You play Etched Champion. Orca Boya. Orca Boya. Eh, hey, Invents or block? Uh, I want to go strong in the lock this turn. I'm gonna go steam vents. I'm not sure. Maybe I was supposed to call against command this turn, but I guess I didn't know they didn't have land. Mmm, Pirate Spell Bomb in the side. I didn't bring it in. Did I play Ragaban? Then I don't have these up. I know, I think I passed for now, but I'm not sure. I feel like I had the, I had the tools to win both games, but I'm not doing it. They drew Glimmer Void. Bring the drum. Okay. There's a bomb to bounce this. Cards in it. I don't hope they attack me. I can cast that shadow. And I might just kill this in combat so that well if they bounce it, can they recast it immediately if they bounce this? They pay blue to bounce it. They have one, two, three, four, five, six. So reason to have a rebuke too. 
Yeah. I mean, sure, sure. Uh, this card a card, druid artifact. I mean, you get delirium here with a sorcery or a creature or an enchantment. Yeah, you go rebuke, you go rebuke, whatever. You can do anything about it. Get two cards in hand. If in my turn I go um, another one, they can't. Okay. Oof. That is the Lyrium. I don't care about the second channeler. They can still bounce this guy if they want. I'm just drawing. Bueno. I cannot play Shadow of Death and leave up K Command. See a composite. All right, that's the card they drew. There's still one card in hand. It could be. Well, it's not Thought Monitor. It's kind of plating. But being it, this one only balances the creature, right? Mm. What's their companions? The Wellspring. Yes. Death, waiting plus insurance companion. So, all right, I'm gonna go to. Uh, blue, black, no, red, black. I'm gonna play K Command. I could return this, but then I lose Delirium, so it's not great. Uh, what do I do? Just kill Ornithopter? Hmm. I'll be fine with that, but like, I guess it's better than dealing two damage. Eh, allora. This. Surveil. I'm looking at um, Dress Down to kill the champion. Insure's bubble. Do I care about the bubble here? I think it's better than a land. The channeler. Sorry, it's better than a random card. I got a 7, so the shadow's bigger than their companion. Draw, and I play bubble first. See what I find. A bolt. Is this relevant? So if I attack with shadow, and they, let's say they take, that's nine damage. If it's not a bad draw, this lining bolt. Your top is a drum, perfect. So let me attack with both here. Even if they bounce my Ragavan, they, they don't have lethal. They take it, wow. Pass, draw bolt in your upkeep. You're dead next turn to my channeler, even if you keep your creatures back. You have a drum in hand, which is a dead draw. And, yeah. I think they just started a race, which is strange, but you can't really do much against the channeler. That's the classic, like, shadow deck. You attack from graveyard, from just this thing where you don't want to attack me. It's so hard to attack this deck. Obvious also an only heat would have been strong. Just a good old double bolt. Just, you start on 14, it's, it's great.
Keep this on top. I don't want to make my opponent. I mean, obviously, they know about that the dress down card. As you said, I have lethal. I don't want to give them like ideas for the next game. I just want them to die. Okay. Now, this is the last game of the league. We could be double 4 1 gamers or not double 4 1 gamers. Oh, I really wish we are double 4 1 gamers. Bringing the bomb. I think I'm taking out the Thought Seize. I think I'm bringing in Terminates. I think I want to take out all the Thought Seize. Yeah, on the draw, I don't want to be a Thought Seize gamer. Ragavan in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't touch Ragavan. Trading with Mab Knight is not a bad trade. My end isn't great, but I have to keep a thing. I have about all can trip. There's always lures. Yeah, I mean, how much would you want to pay for four monkey? At least. At least for Andre, right? Ooh, it's a saga turn one just like that. I like it. Go ahead, bubble myself. Dress down. I love it. I got a bolt. Actually, I was going to bolt that, but. Now that I have a dress down, I don't care if you start making constructs. Change my mind. Go ahead, make your construct. There's a saga. It's not even the real card. Why wow, top the saga? Oh, wow, nice humble brag, Matt, man. Must be nice to be that wealthy. And just going around, like, just saying it to the chat. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and kill this Mem Knight. Surveil. I wanna get Delirium. I can't do it in that stern if I get... A sorcerer or a creature. Have you tried new affinity? Yep, yeah. Atlas Retro. You can go exclamation mark YouTube and check my YouTube channel. This patch. Which patch? Alright, spell bomb. Ah, that's, that's graveyard is. Ragaban. Graveyard. Now this gets delirium. Yeah. All right. So the saga the goes. If no lands, I think I needed to kill the Memnite. Or how to come Ornithopter? They play new saga with one card in end. They can play a champion if it is a champion. It's a thought monitor. Oh no! Ah, ma porca puttana! You just didn't have anything, and now you have all these cards. Io bono. Woo. All right, what next? So kick okay, command, kill these two creatures. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that, right? Kill these two creatures. Has to be. I can also make you discard a card, but then you make a token. Whereas uh, this way, you have to draw either a land or a zero drop. When I got Swamp do I think. I'm only Heat. Alright, I'll keep it on top. I 
Let's see if they have a land. They do. But I can start making constructs here. And I can't return Allure this, this turn because I have to play Saga. If I try Grixis Control. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Plenty of Grixis Control again. The, I mean, I, I, keep on show, I keep on shouting out the YouTube channel, but all of my decks are there. Or not all my decks. All the decks that I play are there. I think that this deck is better. I'm playing with Shadow. It just gives you the angle of attack against decks that hate your graveyard and stuff like that. Yeah, so they make a token. And they're gonna make another token. And then we play Urza Saga. Yeah, you just have to go in the playlist, you go modern, and then you just scroll. How many, as many as you want. Wow, they just float mana here. Huh. You just float mana there. Huh. That's a, that's a nice read. That's a nice read, dear. I'm gonna fetch first, playing around the... Uh, Pithing Needle. Hmm, you say Metallic Rebuke. Metallic Rebuke wins them the game here. Yeah, it does. Metallic Rebuke wins them the game there. Hmm. I wonder if I was supposed to do something different. I play Dress Down in my turn. I can still play. Yeah, I guess I could have done that, huh? Was random. If they have th the metallic rebuke, I kind of deserve it if they do. I could have played Dresden in. Uh, I guess that's not true though. Oh wow, they tapped this for blue. Attention. They tap the thing, so it's gonna die. Question is, what do I do with this Ragavan? I think I bottom it. Draw. Draw. Okay, they didn't have a rebuke. Oh wow, there was another one. Okay. You play top monitor? You don't want to. Oh, you play plating. Jeez. Plating is strong. Okay, so that one dies. And after that, do I want to kill this Ornithopter? It feels kind of a waste. I just keep up one mana, it's fine. Not a dress down, I like it. I'm gonna dash Ragaban. Die for five. I already have a Ragaban in the graveyard. Hit Blood Fountain. Ignore it, probably. Just get back Lurus. Get back Lurs and probably, you know what? I also want to kill the Ornithopter now. Nah, no, that's not true. I'm just... Just leaving with the Ornithopter over there. I smell trophy. I smell the trophy. Sorry, never mind. What trophy? I smell 4-1. Couldn't smell trophy. Maybe Chate don't have the sense to smell anymore. Covidus. Alright, Crania Plating. Okay. Bring Lip Drum. Attack me. Kill that. Yeah, double four one today. We we, we did play the, the two tier one of the format. Missing armor time the and the other one and the omna
He probably held the dress down up in case they they in case they they chain thought monitors. Yeah, if they have color managed cast a rebuke, that's still fine. I wasn't dying to that ornithopter attack. I just wanted them to spend the mana to keep the blading. I think we got this. I think this is the 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 the, the, the time where they write it, GG. That was.